guys, I'm back in the kitchen and I'm working on my recipe for my cookies. I'm making some um, raspberry sugar, like they're kind of like uh, shortbread cookies if you like shortbread. And hopefully today this recipe will come out. Now I am making some changes to it. This is not like a final, you know, run through of this recipe. Make them. I'm trying to create some cookies that. You know, a lot of the cookies that we really, really like, um, like we love lemon cookies, we love chocolate chips, we love uh, pecan sandies and all of that. And, you know, instead of buying those cookies, I can pretty much make them. I have made pecan sandies. They taste exactly like the ones um, that we love. So, let me show you guys the batter so far, how it looks. Um, this is your basic vegan shortbread um, cookie dough and you can actually eat this as is it's perfect now all right so um, it looks good I don't I don't usually rest my dough you know some people like to let it rest for a while or an hour or so but I don't do all that kind of stuff I just I'm real impatient when it comes to baking and um, I just like to play around with different you know recipes and stuff like that and then a lot of the recipes that I come up with they're my personal you know rest personal recipes I just come up with now I will get some kind of inspiration from some of the uh, you know videos and things like that but I pretty much like to come up with things on my own um, just based off of what I look at you know on Instagram and stuff like that so throwing these into some balls Oh, this dough is purple. All right. Sorry about that. All right, so the key to this cookie recipe is um, the center, which is going to be made uh, with a filling of like a, a preserve, raspberries preserve, and to tarten it up to give it more of a tangy tart taste, I'm using Kool-Aid. And I didn't have... Um, Okay, oven's preheated. Didn't have any raspberry Kool-Aid, but my hubby was able to pick up some cherry, which will do just fine. So I'm gonna take about a teaspoon of cherry um, flavored Kool-Aid and add it to this. All right, so I've got my jam. And I'm gonna take I'm going to pretty much do about a quarter of a teaspoon. So, my little one here approves. She said it tastes just <laughs> like those cookies. And those are like right. my favorite cookies ever. So, let me show you guys. Alright, so here are the cookies. I have made them all up. Ooh, I can't wait and they look like little eyeballs. <laughs> yeah. So, I'm going to put these in the oven. Uh, 350 degrees for about 14 minutes and we shall be back I hope I did not overfill these cookies I feel like I wanted to overfill them because you know when you're eating that filling those cookies the shortbread cookies or the filling you always want more I always want more so that's why I added more so we shall see so I'm back you guys the cookies are ready and let me show you guys what they look like how they turned out um, so far these are the better ones <laughs> they uh, held together pretty good the only thing is about these cookies that is you want to overfill them uh, with the, the inside the little jam spread because you know I just for me I like a lot of filling in mine what are you doing <laughs> yeah I like a lot of filling in mine so uh, so they kind of like let me show you guys what I'm talking about. I just kind of like got all over the pan, but this is my first go around on these particular cookies. So I'm getting ready to take a picture of them so I can post them on my Instagram. Then I'll put the recipe on over there. So I'll be right back. <laughs> 